Back? He asks, skepticism and worry dripping from his voice. That's me. His brow creases in the center, and I watch as he shakes his head slowly. I thought you'd be a man. I can't help but roll my eyes internally. Here we go again, another doubter who can't wrap their head around a woman doing custom paint jobs. It's nothing new. I'm used to it by now. But that doesn't make it any less discouraging. I paste on my best professional smile and say, Well, Judge, names can be deceiving, can't they? But I assure you, I'm the Mac you're looking for. And if you give me a chance, you'll see just how talented I am with a paint gun. Judge's hand comes up, his fingernails scratching at his scruffy beard, clearly still unsure. We rarely hire women in the garage, you know. I raise an eyebrow and smirk. Oh, I've heard that one before. But you see, I'm not just any woman. I'm the one who turned a rusted-out junker into a work of art that turned heads at the last car show. So, if you want your bikes and cars to go from meh to wow, you're going to want me on your team. I watch as Judge's expression shifts from skepticism to something resembling respect. Maybe, just maybe, he will see past the stereotype. So, are we going to do this interview, or are we going to keep playing the name game? I ask, crossing my arms over my chest and giving him a challenging stare. Judge's face cracks with a grin, and he steps forward, his hand extended. All right, Mac, let's get started. Show me what you've got. I shake his hand firmly, a sense of triumph washing over me. It seems that even in the tough world of the Black Hood's MC, talent speaks louder than gender. And I'm more than ready to prove I have plenty of both. Judge turns toward the door behind him and leads me deeper into the garage. Farther away come the clatter of tools and the lingering scent of engine oil. My head is on a swivel as we make our way to the back, taking in what could be my potential new place of employment. Finally, we stop in front of an old motorcycle that's seen better days. The paint job is a disaster, peeling and faded, as if they had exposed it to every harsh element possible. This, Mac, Judge says, gesturing to the sorry excuse for a bike, is your first task. The guys here love this old thing, but it's been an eyesore around the clubhouse for years. Your job is to turn it into a masterpiece. I study the decrepit machine before me, my heart racing with anticipation and a touch of anxiety. This is it, the moment of truth my chance to prove I belong here. Judge's words hang in the air, the unspoken challenge of it all. My job depends on how well I can transform this wreck into something awe-inspiring.